Hey everyone, good afternoon. It is NFL Sunday, the first day that football is live. I love football. Go Chiefs. I want to ask you this. I was thinking while I was actually watching today, uh, a TV commercial popped up and it made me think of this. Is the work that you are doing right now aligned with your goals? Is there a fit, a life work fit with your goals? And if your goals involve health, finances, relationships, is what you're doing in alignment with what is inside of you? Are you doing things that are aligned with who you are? Are you aligning yourself with where you're going? Is the activities that you do every day lining up with where you're headed and who you are? And, and, and I ask this because so often people decide to do a business, decide to do something just to make money just because somebody else told them this is a good way to make money when it's out of alignment of who they are, their skills, their talents, their abilities, and they're only doing it because somebody else said, yeah, that's good for you. And that, that person's validation is why they're doing it. The only reason that they're doing their business is because somebody validated the idea for them, but it has no alignment with who they are, where they're going, what their goals are in life, where they're headed, or what they are made for, all because they can make money from it. Now, here's the deal. I want to go in on this. Making money with something that you are not aligned with is okay temporarily if you have a goal to stair step and get to where you want to go, where your goals are. So you'll like reach a certain point doing that thing that maybe is out of alignment as a way to launch you into the thing that is aligned with you. But is what you're doing even aligned with launching you to that place? Think about it and ask that question. Or are you only doing it because Another human being said, this is a good idea for you. And so you're trying to do what somebody else did that was aligned with their goals and you want their life. And so you're using comparison to actually live a life that is not what you were designed for, but you're just doing it because everybody else said it was a good idea. And so my question to you is this, is what you're doing is your work, your daily habits, your routines, the things that you do for business, is it aligned with your goals? And why are you doing what you do? Answer that question yourself. You can also leave it in the comments below. Um, this is one of the first things that I actually ask people when I really dive deep, if they're just starting a business, a startup business, to make sure that what they're doing, their activities are actually in alignment with what they do, or if they just saw somebody else do it and thought, hey, that's a good idea because I could do that as well. So ask yourself this, is what you're doing just because you thought that's a good idea, I could do that as well? Or is it because it's actually in alignment with where you're headed? This is a big point of contention as well for a lot of people. The only reason I bring this up is this. You can accelerate your results exponentially greater when you are doing something that is in alignment with where you're headed, your goals, and your passions, meaning you will have to work much harder to get the same or lesser result. And I see a lot of people, they will, they intentionally work 10 times harder to get a lesser result than doing something that's aligned with their passions because somebody else validated it for them. And, and yet they could actually do what is in alignment with what they were made for, make exponentially more money in that business because it's specifically designed for them. And yet they are afraid to do that because nobody's been validating that. You know, I saw a quote today. It was, um, I forget, I forget who it was, but they, oh no, it was Larry Ellison, founder of Oracle, which they have the, basically the engine of most of the software applications, our phones and all of that, the programming languages. He said that if you are going to do something that will change the world, be prepared for everybody to think that you are crazy and that it's a terrible idea. And be okay with 
owning up to the fact that you are doing what you were made for. And if you keep pressing into what you were made for, that it will start to work out and line up. And so I want to invite people, especially today, not out of guilt, not out of shame, not out of because of religious pride, not out of feeling like you have to because that's what people like you do, but rather because it's what you want to do. Ask yourself, is what I'm doing in alignment with my goals, my passions, my dreams, the dreams I had 15, 20 years ago, what were those? And look at those areas and see where are they out of alignment. I'm not saying go into that dream, but move closer to that dream if you've moved further away from it, those old dreams. Somebody wrote me the other day. They said, what if you can't dream? And she said, I just can't anymore. Well, there was one time in your life where you could. Everybody had a time in their life when they could when they were younger, when they were a kid or a teenager or a young adult. So what were those dreams? What happened along the way? What beliefs did you take on because of what happened that lets you decide that I'm not going to do my dream. I'm not going to go after what's in alignment with me and go after something just for the paycheck, just because somebody validated it, just because somebody invalidated your dream. You went in an opposite direction. And what were those beliefs? Are they true? I, I honestly, I don't know that answer for you because I don't know everybody's situation, but I'll say for me that what happened for me is I had a certain dreams and then I saw where I could make more money and I moved away from my dreams. And now I'm, I'm realizing though that it was actually a training path for me to then go back to what my dreams, goals, visions and stuff were when I was 10, 15, uh, 20 years old. And I'm still young, uh, so that was only you know 15 years ago. But still, I haven't been doing what was in alignment with what I was made for in that. So like, let's say you had a dream that you wanted to sing or you wanted to lead people or serve in a certain way. What that means is that, is that you want to look at not the thing that the dream is, but what the impact of it is. So for me, it was always um, speaking, preaching, writing movies, creating video games, creating music. I really wanted to create something that impacted people in a positive way. Okay. And so in my, my content creation here, that's in alignment actually with those dreams I've always had. I'm creating content to impact people like you in a positive way. And, and now I'm, I'm moving things along in a business to move towards those things. And not, and maybe yours is, maybe you want to be famous. Maybe you don't want to be famous. It's okay. By the way, none of this has to do with fame, fortune, or anything like that. That's about aligning yourself with that feeling, that emotion that that dream brought up and saying, what is the impact that it has on other people? And what could I be doing now that's related to what I'm currently doing that could also have a similar impact? And then align your passions in that way. Align your passions around what can impact others, not just yourself, not just what you can get out of it, but align what you're doing now. Go back to that old dream when you were a kid and look at that. Okay, why was I passionate about that? Why was it a dream of mine? Well, I can't, I'm, maybe I'm not gonna do that because you know that was without wisdom. That was when I was younger. Or maybe you will do that. Or maybe you'll help somebody else who has a dream like that that's younger than you. Whatever that is, whatever that emotion is, what can you do now and how did you move so far away from that and really start to ask yourself these questions and is what and ask yourself is the work I'm doing aligned with my goals aligned with my passions aligned with who I am what changed along the way and start to bring the two together where you are now your dreams your passions and 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 maybe shifting your goal of where you want to be to come into alignment with those two things from what you've learned over the years, the decisions, the choices, the wisdom, the experience to grow and impact the world and live the life that you were created for. Not somebody else's life that you're trying to be, but uniquely, originally, individually designed exactly just as you are that nobody else can copy or imitate. And that's what you were made for. Grow your life, everybody. And we'll talk soon.